World Federation of Exchanges. Their 51st General Assembly is currently being hosted by the Johannesburg Stock Exchange here in Santon, South Africa. The Mauritian Stock Exchange was recently voted the most innovative African exchange for year 2011 by Africa Investor, but has been hit by rising risk aversion due to the European sovereign debt crisis and obviously Mauritius's susceptibility to Europe as a major trading partner. Now, Samantha Lauren caught up with Sunil Benimadu, the CEO of the Stock Exchange of Mauritius, started off by asking about diversifying this Eurocentric economy? Well, basically, uh, the stock exchange of Mauritius uh, tends to reflect, you know, the future growth potential of the economy. And since we are uh, dependent on, on Europe for our economic growth, so what we've seen recently is that the market has been evolving, uh, reflecting the kind of sentiment that the market has with regard to what's going on in Europe. But at the level of the stock exchange of Mauritius itself, we are very busy right now trying to, you know, internationalize the stock exchange of Mauritius, uh, move away from uh, a, a market that focuses essentially on the listing of equity products which are locally based to a market that opens up new avenues of growth for uh, very specific internationalized products. I'm going to mention a few of the initiatives that we've taken recently. For example, uh, two years ago, we came up with new listing rules to uh, cater for the listing of what we call global funds on the Stock Exchange of Mauritius, and this has been pretty successful so far. We've recently uh, come up with a listing environment and listing rules to cater for the listing of global business companies. You know very well that Mauritius is growingly being used as a platform for the incorporation of global business companies from Europe and from the US and, that's and investing in India. That's because you're able to settle um, the trades in dollars, so you mitigate that currency risk, which uh, many other African uh, stock well, exchanges well, aren't able to first do. First of all, we wanted to create the platform for the listing of these global business companies that are incorporated in Mauritius. And then we went one step further. In fact, we've recently become the first exchange in Africa which can list, trade, and settle products in US dollars, in uh, British pounds, and in Euro. So this is a very important competitive edge that Mauritius Stock Exchange has relative to uh, many other exchanges in the world, but also in the African exchange space. So, so compelling for uh, international businesses, what has been the response? Do you have any upcoming IPOs, potential listings from global we've businesses? Had, we've had over the past two years uh, about 12 uh, global business funds that have come and listed, and we have more and more uh, queries from uh, global business funds. I mean, funds, international funds, looking to list in Mauritius. We've started recently talking, unfortunately I can't give you the name right now because it's still in discussion, with a Pan-African company uh, that is trying to use Africa to, uh, to reach out to the rest of the world and they're looking at Mauritius as a listing venue. Uh, this interest they've shown has been triggered by the fact that we are today in a position to list, trade and settle in these three major currencies that I've uh, mentioned to you. So basically, uh, I think Mauritius is well positioned. We're trying to really come up with a strategy that internationalizes our exchange uh, in terms of products, in terms of participants, in terms of members that can use our exchange. When we look at products, uh, how are you diversifying the type of products that uh, can be traded on the exchange? Are you looking at derivative products, futures, options? Yes. Well, basically, right now we're moving slowly uh, away from equity. We're busy uh, discussing with banks in Mauritius and with the central bank and the regulator to set up a, a, an active uh, secondary market for the trading of government securities, especially gov uh, benchmark government securities. So this is something that we plan to roll out in the near future. We also, uh, of course, as I just mentioned, we're trying to position ourselves as, as a listing venue for uh, African dedicated specialized debt products because of this currency uh, facility uh, that we're offering. Our next move is try to position Mauritius as an attractive venue for certain Africa-focused ETFs. So when you're talking about derivative products, if we can put derivative ETFs among derivative products, uh, we, we're keen in, in uh, you know, trying to grow this market. 
And then eventually one thing that we would like to do is use Mauritius as a base to trade certain futures products on African product, uh, you know, African underlyings. It could be indices, it could be very liquid stocks. Those, these are the plans that we're trying to work on.